general relativity says that gravitation is merely the, the actual bending and, and uh, twisting of space-time geometry caused by a massive body. In quantum mechanics, that means there must be a particle that the massive body emits that goes and tells space-time how to bend. It's called the graviton. And while we're sure it exists, and we have a beautiful theory due to Einstein uh, of, of the classical theory of gravity, we do not have a, a beautiful quantum theory of gravity, a theory that can take that graviton, smash it together with other gravitons at very high energy, and produce answers that make any sense at all. The theory is mathematically inconsistent. And the way that extra dimensions reappeared in the mid-80s, a, a new theoretical Some structure, superstring theory, was shown to produce a quantum mechanically consistent theory of the interactions of this graviton. Uh, uh, I want to point out that, that there, were, there have been physics reasons to, to be interested in extra dimensions, and those turn out to be wrong. Now, this is a very good reason to be interested in extra dimensions, but it, it could be just as wrong, and I just want to sort of temper that. So, so I mean, I, I, would, I would absolutely agree with that, and, and I think it's really important to underscore that everything that we're talking about tonight could be utter nonsense. Talk However, <laughs> there's strong motivation to think about these ideas because, exactly. as Shamit was saying, we have a theory of gravity, Einstein's general theory of relativity. We have quantum mechanics. These two theories, each of which works fantastically well in the domain for which it was developed. Quantum right. theory for small things, general relativity for big things. Now, we think the universe is overall consistent, but these two theories don't work together. As Jean was yeah. saying, they're internally inconsistent. The wonderful thing about string theory is that it's able to put them together in a consistent package. One package, gravity, quantum mechanics, it's all there, but the math only works if you have extra dimensions. And that motivates us to take it seriously. It doesn't mean we know it's right by any means, but it motivates us to take it seriously and analyze where it takes us.